Hey guys, this is Richard from Wilds Tech. Right, this is my next review. Now, this review is of the Aegon AGM700 gaming mouse as well as the AGK7 RGB backlit gaming keyboard. Um, we will be right back and I will show you the features as well as the overall build quality. So continue to watch. Okay, right, these are the peripherals from AOC. Now, they did send me a gaming uh, mouse pad, but unfortunately, the mouse pad itself is starting to wear. And I haven't had it that long. It is RGB, as you're probably aware. I'm a bit of an RGB nut. I love my RGB. So, right, the overall quality. Now, this is a um, mechanical keyboard. It is a Cherry MX switch. It's got 16.8 million customize, customizable color options. It's RGB and also it's a, it comes with an N key uh, rollover and it's also anti-ghosting. Now, the mouse is a very nice looking mouse. Now, the mouse is black with this silver kind of look by there and the little mouse. It's got a lot of features. But the keyboard itself is what is important. Now, the keyboard is gorgeous. Now, the keyboard is fully backlit. Comes with this magnetic uh, ar armrest, which I've used a lot, as you can see. And the thing, best thing I like about this keyboard right off the bat is this big, huge red button. This is a volume button. So, yeah, uh, it's got a lot of different modes. It's got RGB mode. It's got, you can customize it in the AOC uh, customizable software. So, let's get the boxes out the way and I will show you the software base. Now, with the software, it's very easy. If you've got an AOC gaming uh, keyboard as well as mouse, it'll automatically sync up to the software. And at this present time, my DP setting is on because obviously, the, obviously this is all gaming, so it's basically optimized for um, FPS type gaming and stuff like that. So we'll get into the software and we'll be back. Okay, so this is the software. Now, as you can see, I have got a AOC 34 inch monitor. This review is coming, so make sure you subscribe for that. But this isn't the monitor view, this is the peripherals. Now, this is the keyboard, and you can customize every single button. It's got, you can do the sensitivity, you can do the repeat delays, you can do the repeat rate, everything. And the lighting, you can do it all randomized, you can do a static color, you can do a rainbow. You, well, basically, every colour you think of, you can do it. Uh, you can set the brightness. You can set everything with this mouse. Now, the link uh, is called Light FX Sync. Means that if you have more than one Aegon peripheral, it'll automatically sync the RGB lighting up. So that's why it's on static random at the moment. Because I thought my mic computer itself is at a... It's on uh, color shift, so I thought a static random would look nice. Now, the best thing about this by here is the customizable uh, options. Now, you can adjust things. You really can. Let me show you. Right. So, right. As you can see, we are look. By here, there's all of them, right? Now, if you click on that, you can adjust everything. Can adjust every single button except for the top buttons, which the top buttons by here on the on the keyboard itself, as you can see, it's got a home button. It's got a home button. It's got a refresh button, music. It's got the lights, and then that then is for the lights as well. It's got an F button, and it's got a lot of different modes. If you click on this one by here, modes, it changes the colors automatically. You can go for where you just press a button and it'll you do that or you can do this click this one the will map go rainbow there's this one different colors now the as you can hear 
Now, if I was to type, let's have a look. So we go Welsh Tech. Now, the buttons are very nice uh, click buttons. I like the Cherry X uh, versions of these. Uh, they are removable. You can remove each key and you can clean it out and stuff like that. It does come with a long cable by here. Which is braided and it does come with this included um, wire tie. So you can connect them all up. The mouse is the same but the mouse, with the mouse it's got these little uh, by in here there is weight. So it pulls it down a little. Uh, the actual rate of the pressing you can adjust this in the software itself. Now this is where the more customised comes. Now, if you go to sensitivity, as you can see, look, you can calibrate there, you can do double clicks, you can do the hertz, you can do the DPI settings. Mine is at 3200 because any faster, it's a little bit too much for me. I am 32 now and I'm not so bothered with FPS gaming. So that's basically really my opinion on that. Uh, it, these are a very good price point. The keyboard, I believe it's the 70 to 80 pound mark. The mouse is 35 pound mark. The mouse pad, I believe, is around 15 quid. So it's a good value for money, and you do get mechanical as well as cherry. So you've heard what you can do. The software is great. The built the actual software you can download on the AOC website. The software is so easy and simple. It's probably one of the best softwares I've tried. As when it comes to uh, keyboards and mice. Now, MSI have got good software, but it's a little bit over there. At least with this, it's dedicated to the parts they sell. Um, the mouse has got a good feel. It's got a good click grid. The keyboard, it's fantastic to type on. Obviously, it's my first time ever trying Cherry uh, MX switches, which are very nice, very good tile, a very nice click. Uh, they're not they're not as loud as the uh, cherry blues because the cherry blue is more of a click 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 clack 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 sound. But you know that's just my overall opinion. If you want to buy these, I will leave the link for you down below. If you're just a normal gamer, you just want to get some nice peripherals. These are a very good option. Um, until I started talking with AOC, I weren't aware they sold peripherals. So when they sent me my first um, monitor review, I asked them, could you send me some peripherals? The keyboard and mouse are fantastic. The, key, the mouse pad, on the other hand, I think they need to kind of redo something because for some reason that layer on top just keeps kind of peeling away. <coughs> so I'm going to have to have a chat with them about that but the keyboard and mouse they're very good quality the keyboard is quite heavy it's got a good weight to it it's very good it's a very nice color i like the black that big red button is just it's it set it off for me i thought it was fantastic now my other peripherals i was using was msi peripherals but they broke broke one week and then I believe about four or five days later, the keyboard just went kaput. I couldn't press certain buttons, nothing at all. So when AOC said they were going to send me out keyboard and mouse to review, I thought, right, they leave, right, they let me keep these as review samples. So I thought, right, I could at least use these until uh, I can either get different ones or I just keep them uh, and just stick them on my my personal computer because as you can see my personal computer is water cool it's got a big 32 inch 2560 by 1440 monitor and it you know it's my ultimate setup it's how i edit my videos so i need a good keyboard i need a good mouse i also do do a lot of gaming i do game nights on discord every fortnight with andy from uh andy rafael from etechnics so i need a good mouse and keyboard and so far i'm very pleased with them the overall build quality is fantastic the price is a good price point uh there's some keyboards and mice from different brands that literally go ridiculously on price i think the 70 to 80 pound mark for a mechanical cherry mx 
keyboard is not bad considering what other um, brands are out there with certain uh, certain uh, levels of different types of keyboards you know they got the budget and stuff but with these they've got i think um i think three or no might have two different skews it's the 700s and then they got the 500 versions so that's my review of these uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to know any more make sure you subscribe because the monitor review will be coming very soon i'm still testing it so yeah Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Richard from Welsh Tech. Goodbye.